Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For today's video, I am finally doing another Shop My Stash. I try to do these, well, I'd like to do them more often, but it seems to be I only do them like every season. So, I, well, on the one hand, I do get a lot of use out of the products in my Shop My Stash because they're here for so long. But on the other, like I start getting bored. So that's where I am now. And it is September 2nd when I'm filming this. It's actually Labor Day, so I don't have to work. <laughs> so I thought today would be the best day to do this. So we're getting into the fall season. I want to switch things up. Um, if you're new here, a lot of things will stay because um, they're in my project. So I have a whole collection project pan and a deck of panning and a eyeshadow palette project, which is like these palettes here. So, but yeah, we're going to try and, you know, get some new stuff in here. So let's just get into it. This, so this tray here is my shop, my stash. Okay. This bag. <laughs> This is all the new makeup I hauled, which you would have seen that I don't have anywhere to put. So I'll just move that. Um, but yeah, only this tray is the Shop My Stash and some palettes over here. But this is just regular collection stuff. Um, so we'll start with the lip products. Actually, none of these are in a project, so we can switch all of these out. There's a plane. So I have two liquid lipsticks. This one is from Ofra and it is, I forget the name, Santa Ana. I think I only use this once or twice just because I don't wear like bolder lip colors when I go to the office. So, but I did try and use it. It's getting super old though. <laughs> like the writing is wearing off. Let's just make sure it's still good. So, okay, just smelling it. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm gonna put that back in my collection because I do like the color of this. Um, and this one is the Ciate Liquid Velvet. I thought for sure going into this, I was like, I don't think I like this kind of color anymore because it's almost like on the verge of being like one of those grayish tones but this one actually is really nice and more neutral at least on my skin tone so i am going to keep this because i do like the ciate liquid velvet formula uh, because it doesn't dry down like super you know those liquid lipsticks that feel like paint on your lips so <laughs> yeah i'm going to keep this this is the shade bittersweet so that'll go back in my collection. I have this mini lip gloss from Aveda. Um, and I really like this actually. It is so old. <laughs> I think I got this when I still worked there. Oh my God. That, But it still smells great. It has like a minty smell. And it's just a nice like sheer lip gloss, but with like iridescent shimmer but it looks really nice on the lips like it's not too metallic or anything so i am going to keep that um i have my makeup by mario these were called or these are called moisture glow plumping lip serum this is the shade bronze glow so a really nice like nude shade with a bit of shimmer you can see that and I do really like these. The trick with these kind of products, these like click up gloss stick kind of things, is you only need like one click worth of product. If you do any more, it's gonna be a big like gloopy mess. Just a tip <laughs> from me. Um, I also have a lipstick from Aveda. Um, this is the shade Canna and it looks like a disaster but it's actually still fine it smells really nice and i do like the shade of this so i'm gonna keep that but this is not a shade like i'm gonna 
honestly it's not a shade I wear often at any time of year but especially in the fall I won't be wearing like a red like that <clears throat> it's like a you know an orangey red almost show you again yeah no <laughs> Uh, but I do really like the Aveda lipsticks, hence why I still have mine, and they're ancient. Um, then this Sugar Dream, um, well, Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment, yes, <laughs> in the shade Dream. I love this. I just wore this yesterday. Um, I did once take it with me, and I had it in my pocket and it melted so i have to be careful with that but i really like the shade of this and the formula aside from the fact that it melts if you keep it in your pocket or don't leave it in a car because it will definitely get ruined so all of those are going back i do have other lip products over here but these are in projects um the Physician's Formula Rose Kiss All Day. This is in my deck of panning. And the Michaela Glam Light. This gloss with like gold reflex. That is in my whole collection project. So we have six spots for lip products. Sometimes I choose more and I just keep them over here. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, but let's move on to this section, which is highlighter. These are all in projects, so they're not going anywhere. My Tower 28 um, No Shade, um, ColourPop, Pretty Guardian, you know, this collab, the last Sailor Moon collab, the latest one, in Moon Kingdom. This is the like purple tone one. We'll just open it again. It has super cute packaging. This one, that's in my whole collection. Um, so is this Milk Makeup um, Cream Highlighter Stick in Lit. This, I only have to use this two more times so that won't be in here much longer but for now yes and this Too Faced um, Moon Crush Out of This World highlighter I mention this all the time this is like my favorite highlighter right now and that's in my project so I'm keeping that too I just noticed I'm starting to wear down the embossing um, Back here I have, okay, first of all, lashes. I think I'm just gonna not pull lashes into my Shop My Stash anymore because I, there's never gonna be a situation where I'm gonna wear false lashes on like a regular day. So <laughs> I will keep these ones because they're the magnetic accents and I didn't have great luck with these, but I'll just keep them like in case. Pretty much the only time I wear false lashes is like Halloween. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, when I was younger, I would wear them to like events, but I don't go anywhere. So I'm just gonna put these with the, my other lashes and yeah, they won't be in Shop My Stash anymore. Um, I also have this Pat McGrath Labs Divine Rose Luxe Quad in Eternal Eden. I got this in a boxy luxe or an Ipsy Icon box, whatever, um, and I haven't used it yet. Just, yeah, didn't get pulled. Um, I still have the, <laughs> the film on it, and it looks like this. It's really pretty. Actually, this could be nice for fall. So I think I will keep this in my Shop My Stash, even though it's not in a project. I do want to use it though. Um, I have two blushes in projects. My Color Pop, Color Pop <laughs> Flirt Alert. Uh, this is hard to open. This one, that's staying. It's like a mauve -y. 
neutral and then flower power is like a lavender with shimmer i really like this so that's fine um this i just rolled in yesterday so that's obviously staying my cover effects shimmer veil in amethyst it's like a liquid eyeshadow well it is a liquid eyeshadow <laughs> so that's staying so is my Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo because it's in my whole collection project. I do really like this. Only the blush is in the project, but I do use the highlighter also. And this Rose Ink Lip and Cheek Color in Azalea, that is also in my project, so that's staying. And I like the shade of that one. I don't know if you're seeing... <laughs> the true color because of the terrible lighting in all my videos, but I do like that one. Um, this cover effects Perfector Face Palette. This is not in a project. I did roll this in to my Shop My Stash and I use this as blush or blush toppers, um, sometimes even bronzer because this is the medium, medium deep. Sorry, my battery died. I don't know if it caught the last thing I was saying, but this cover effects palette. Um, yeah, I can only use this as blush or blush toppers. I have used this as a highlighter and it's actually really nice, but yeah, I'm gonna put that away. This I'm actually going to declutter. I've decided this Pure Sculptor palette I do like the pure um, powder formulas, but this is just not the right shade for me. I don't even think this is like, yeah, there's no like medium or fair or whatever on it. That's just the colors, but these two bronzers are super deep. Maybe if I go, oh, that's so much better. <laughs> Yeah, the bronzers are super deep and the highlighters are also more on the like medium side. Um, and if you know the pure powder formula, it's like a thick like silicone based formula. So you do have to really blend it out, especially if it's not the right shade for you to begin with. So I'm just going to pass this on to somebody that would get use out of it. I also have way too many palettes like this in my collection, so I don't need that. And then this is my Danessa Myrick's Groundwork. Um, what is this called exactly? Blooming Romance Palette for Eyes, Brows, Face and Lips. And I just rolled this in to my whole collection project yesterday, so keeping this for sure um, in my Shop My Stash. So that will just live here because it's too big. <laughs> um, over here I have my lip liner section and um, these two are in my whole collection project. The Colourpop Clarisse, the lip liners in my project but I just pulled the whole kit because why not and this Michaela uh, lip liner that is like, I don't know, I think after I get my uses on it, I might not keep that because it's so light that it, its purpose as a lip liner is null because it's not like defining my lips. Um, and then this Bobbi Brown um, red lip liner, this is one of my favorites. Um, well, my, I don't even, I think I only have two red <laughs> lip liners and I really like both of them, but this is just that really nice, like true blue tone red. I've had this forever and it still works perfectly fine. And pretty much every time I wear a red lip, I use this. So definitely keeping that, but I'll put it back in my stash. Um, this is my lip liner cup right here actually. So I'll just put it in there. Um, my eyeliners. If you guys saw my whole collection video, these are all in that project and I am doing terribly on using them, um, but they're going to stay. 
I have a burgundy like liquid liner, my Urban Decay torch, which I really like for the fall. Uh, oh, actually this Persona, this is the 24 hour waterproof eye pencil in black. This is not in a project and I didn't use it, but I'm gonna put it away because whatever. <laughs> Um, and this Fenty C about it, this blue, that's unfortunately <laughs> in my project. This is not a shade like I would wear in the fall, but if I wear like a blue eyeshadow look, I would sometimes use this like on the outer corner to like wing out. I basically use eyeliners like cream eyeshadows, so that's the only way I will get use on them pretty much. So yeah, I will put this Persona one back. Um, these two primers are in my whole collection project. So they're staying. The Ciate Watermelon Burst and the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow. Liking both of those. Um, all of these complexion products back here. The only one that I will put away is my Tristique. Uh, foundation stick. I actually like this and I was using it quite often for the office. I would use it more like a spot concealer though. I would not apply this all over my face but I did like it. Blend it out nice. But then because I rolled in two concealers to my project I started using that instead and this kind of fell to the wayside. If that's, is that what people say? Wait wayside <laughs> I don't know you know what I mean so that will go back in my collection my makeup forever water blend is in a project well in the whole collection project the elf camo hydrating CC cream I don't love this but I rolled it into my deck of panning and this Revlon serum tint is also in my deck of panning yeah, I rolled in two skin tints. I think there was a reason for that, but I don't remember it right now. Uh, this NARS Liquid Blush in Orgasm. I love this. I'm going to put it away because it's not in a project. I wear this to the office or anytime. Uh, it's very pigmented though, so just like a little bit goes a long way. This Dusty Artist Couture loose um, diamond glow powder. It's a loose highlighter in the shade Illuminati. I rarely reach for this because I know that the Artist Couture highlighters are like the kind that you see from space and this is not something like I want to wear to the office when I'm wearing like minimal makeup to begin with. So that's why I haven't really reached for it, but I do know I like it. But I'm gonna put it back in my collection. Um, same with this Tarte Mini Hydro Sealer. Actually, let me see if this is still good. Oh yeah, okay. It felt like it dried up a little, but no. That's the swatch. I do like this, I think. <laughs> I don't know, I'm getting confused with all my other concealers now, but I could put this one back in my collection. And that's everything. So we did free up, when did I move this camera? Uh, we did free up some space there. Um, I'll quickly show you the eyeshadow palettes now. We'll just move this over to here. Um, so these are in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project, which is going horribly. <laughs> I think, yeah, so the e.l.f. 100 Pan palette, the um, Lunar Beauty Nude Prism. I'll just show you what these look like so you know what I'm working with. So I have all that. The Pan Those Eyeshadows project um, that I'm doing is I have to use these palettes five times each. Is that what it is? But every time I use them, I have a focus shade. So in the e.l.f., I should have showed you that, it's this orange shade, right? 
I'm pretty sure it's that shade. <laughs> oh, and then in this Lunar Beauty Nude Prism, it's the shade Sam, which is really pretty. This color pop palette, um, I think this was in, this was a Shop My Stash roll in. It looks like this. I haven't used it. I think that, let me just check if that's not in my deck of panning. Yeah, that was a roll in, so I'm gonna put it away. Because that's not a fall theme. The Huda Beauty Rose Quartz. This is in my deck of panning, right? Yeah, this was rolled in my deck of panning and I have yet to use it ever, <laughs> which is, uh, yeah, I have issues. This is the Dominique Latte Palette. That's in my um, Panda's Eyeshadows for the shade Espresso. This is fun to have around still for fall. My Urban Decay Heat. This is also in my deck of panning and I haven't used it yet. Yeah, looks like that. Nice warm tones for fall. The Urban Decay Naked. Uh, well, er, sorry, Urban Decay Robin Eisenberg Naked. This is something I rolled in and I didn't use. <laughs> I honestly didn't wear eyeshadow for like most of the summer, so that's why. But I think I will put this back because I'd rather, you know, have a chance to roll in some new exciting things for fall. And I think there's another, yeah, the e.l.f. mini quad in Cream and Sugar. This is in the eyeshadow What's it called? Pan those eyeshadows <laughs> for this boring cream shade, but I do like this palette. So that's staying. And then this this box here, um, that's my palettes on the chopping block. So those are all staying. Um, I don't know if you guys do want to see this. The um, Beauty Bakery proof is in the pudding. So these palettes, like I've mentioned this before, but when I do my makeup, if I'm going to wear eyeshadow, I actually roll which palette to use from all the ones in the different areas. So these will get used if they get rolled in. Um, but that's what that looks like. I haven't used it yet. Well, I haven't used any of these yet. That's why they're still in here. My tart. no, I mean, since bringing them in here. Some of them since ever, like this one, but the TARDIS Pro I have used before, but I just haven't used it since I rolled it in. It's this one here. It smells really good. The Violet Voss All of You Forever. I haven't used this ever. <laughs> That's a really nice fall palette though, I think. The Pure Robbie Christie, haven't used this one ever either. That's the colorful side. And the neutral side, I actually really like the color story of both of those sides. This um, number one palette from Clara Cosmetics. This is like my perfect fall palette, but it's just in this box because when I do my palettes on the chopping block, I roll for palettes. Obviously I skip the ones that I know like I'm not gonna chop, but some of them like I'm not sure because they're getting really old and stuff. And this Violet Voss Essentials, which looks like that. Actually another fall palette. So I think I'm, yeah, I have a lot of good options. Oh, there's another one. Um, this Fenty Beauty, the four in rose. Haven't used this ever. It looks like that. Okay, so let's actually do the shopping of the stash. Oh my god, there's so much dust. I need to get a Kleenex. <laughs> I'll come back 
and we'll look at all my, you know, everything in here and down here and in the drawer and all that stuff. So I'll be back for that. Okay, I guess we'll just start up here um, because in these drawers, like I said, I have my regular collection things. Um, so this drawer is brow products and it looks to be bronzers that <laughs> didn't fit anywhere else. I will pull some new brow products only because the ones I'm using now, like I'm using the Kosas pencil, the I'm using basically all the Kosas, the three steps, the pencil, the air brow, and the clear brow gel. And none of those are in projects and I've been using them forever. So it's time for new ones. This is actually the same brow gel. I have two of them. <laughs> so let's pull for some new brow stuff. But um, for brows, I just, I prefer to roll because I don't know. I mean, what's the difference between one clear brow gel and another? In, I mean, I know there's different formulas, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm going to use my Tiny Decisions app. I do have a brow category here. It says which brow. I have 18 options, so let's spin the wheel. Winky Lux. I don't know what that is. Let's look. Okay, I moved you down. So, this is my Anastasia Brow Freeze. I think this is it. No, that's a Wander Beauty. What's this doing in here? This is an eyeshadow duo. <laughs> okay, I don't know why that's in here. Maybe it didn't fit with my other eyeshadow singles. Let me just put this aside for now. It looks really pretty. It's um, like a metallic on the top and a cream metallic on the bottom. Obviously, I've never used this. Um, this is my, okay, this is my new Too Faced um, melting bronzing and sculpting stick in chocolate mousse. So that's not it. This is Iconic London Sheer Bronze. I really like this. I just remembered that I had that. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, this is bronzers and brow products. This is Rose Ink. I think this is a clear brow gel. Yeah, eyebrow gel. Eyebrow gel in fill zero one. Yeah, that's clear. It's more like a, a wax brow gel. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel. I haven't used that actually. I think it was in a Sephora favorites kit. This Lower East Side full brow gel, dark brown. I haven't ooh. I haven't used that yet, but that's the tiniest little applicator I've ever seen. St. Lux Brow Gel Clear, also Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Okay, where's this Winky Lux thing? These are all bronzers. These are bronzers. Um, oh. It's probably a pencil because the pencil, the brow pencils are in a different spot. <laughs> okay, yeah, so it's not in here. Let's just, we'll try and put that back. I don't know. Well, let's just leave it out in case we roll for one of those things, but over here, these are obviously my brushes. This is my MAC um, Teddy Lip Vault or something like that. So brow pencils are in here. No, 
That's lip products in here, I believe. So this is going to be a disaster because this is brow pencils and eyeliners, which was probably not the best idea. <laughs> okay, it's none of these. It's none of these. I don't even know what I'm looking for because I don't know what that is. I have liquid brow, liquid liners mixed with brow pencils. Oh, is this? Did I just not even like write that in my spreadsheet properly? Cause I don't even recall Winky Lux making brow products. Oh my god, I can't find it. <laughs> See, this is why I roll for my products because I don't even know what's in here. Um, let me look in my new makeup drawer. I'll be showing you that later, so I'll just go off camera and do that now and try and find this Winky Lux, whatever it is. Okay, it was this. You guys were probably yelling through the screen if you have this. I thought this was from Oma Beauty because it has like that Egyptian kind of theme and I had a mascara <laughs> that had the same kind of graphics on it. So I assumed that was not Winky Lux and it's not focusing. Okay, this is one of my oldest brow products ever. Let's see if it still works. So it's one of these like triangle shapes a stick and okay it's I had to really force that down but it might just need to be like you know warmed up again that's the stick is there another side okay and it's a spoolie on the other side so I do like that actually we'll just have to see if I can make this work oh, it's very dry though um, we'll try it though. I mean, it's, as long as it provides some color, I don't want my pencil to be super pigmented anyway, so that's fine. So I now have a brow pencil, but I would like to have a brow gel also, at least. So I'm spinning the wheel again. That's the same thing. <laughs> Uh, that's another brow pencil, Max Spiked. ABH Brow Wiz, that's a pencil also. What is happening? That's another pencil. <laughs> Benefit precisely my brow. Oh my god, I keep getting the same things. Kosas Airbrow. Okay, I'll keep it because um, that's the one with the color. But I do use both anyway because that one provides like more fibers. Um, we'll just spin one more time. If I don't get a different gel, I'll just keep the Kosas one. Oh, Patrick Ta Brow Wax. Okay, that could work as my gel type step. It's actually right here. I don't think I loved this, but I did use it. <laughs> I mean, you could see it's all warped and like weird and liquidy on the top. I hope that's okay. Uh, because this you actually spray with water or a setting spray when you use it. So that's why it looks like soap, you know? It is kind of like a brow soap type thing. So I'll do that. Do I need an, yeah, I don't have any bronzers in any projects, so we'll need at least two. So yeah, like I said, bronzers, I have some of them in here, some are like liquid and creams, um, and some powder. 
I have more powder bronzers in here and this is actually a cushion bronzer from Wet n Wild and I have more powder bronzers in this drawer so oh my god see like once I pull things out of these drawers they don't even go back in because everything's like a puzzle Oh, okay. Uh, this is the disaster. Okay, let me put this back. So, I'm looking for a bronzer that I haven't used in a while. Now I jam this. This is, I just put this one away, so it won't be this one. The Lower East Side Skyscraper Cream Bronzer. That was in my whole collection. Oh, this one actually. I have not used this in forever, and this is like my second oldest bronzer. It's in, it's from Cargo Cosmetics in the shade Medium. And that looks really fun, actually. It has a bit of a sheen. Okay, let's do that one. I'm just going to put it directly in my stash there. Um, I would also like to have a cream bronzer. I'm wondering if I should just... Okay, I might pull the Too Faced because I haven't... Have I, okay, I think I used it once in when I did the haul, the try on haul, I think. But let's see if I have, um, yeah, maybe I should use, oh my god, this OIS, is that a powder? Yeah, that's a powder bronzer. I have the House Labs bronzer. This one from Pure is really old too, but it looks exactly <laughs> like the other one I just pulled. The Marc Jacobs bronzer, this L'Oreal Infallible. Oh, my Fenty cream bronzer in Butter Biscuit. That one has a lot of use on it. But do I want to pull something? that doesn't have a lot of views. This little Bobbi Brown medium bronzing powder, I think, yeah, this is not, this is a powder. It looks like this. I have a mini Fenty Shady Biz. That's a powder though. Yeah, that. Okay, so I'm looking at this. This Wet n Wild Cushion Contour. I don't use this as a contour because the shade is actually more like a bronzer shade in my opinion. Okay, it has a little poof on the top. Let me peel this off. And it looks like that. So I think I'm going to do this one. Let's just touch it. That's the... <laughs> The shade is this dried out. No, you just have to like press down. Okay, it's this here. Yeah, let's do this because it's getting old. So I will put that somewhere in here. I'm gonna have to clean this whole the shop my stash thing because it's full of dust. So, I'll do that later, and I will put this stuff away so that we can move on <laughs> to the other, okay, to the other side. Let's just do it now, because I'm filming this video forever, it seems. These are all lip products in here, and we do want six, at least six new lip products. 
I think I prefer to roll for them because there's just too many options and I don't even know where to begin because this is only one of many lip product drawers. Um, I think this one is more, it's mostly my Fenty gloss bombs like this. Um, I have some lipsticks in here it looks like and some lip oils and my ColourPop um, lip glosses like these and these. Um, my Lawless Forget the Fillers are in here. House Labs lip oil. So that's what's in there. And then there's in here there's powder blushes and more lip products. Natasha Denona, ColourPop, the lip pencils, I forget what they're called. Michaela Glam Light collab. And then down here is my Harry Potter lip balms, right? Yeah, lip balms and the lip glosses and some more stuff back there. Oh my god, what is this even? Oh, this is like a lip oil. Okay, so yeah, you see what I mean? Like, this is just the top. We didn't even get to the bottom yet. So, let's pull, um, let's just roll. Yeah, let's roll for six lip products. So, this is my lip wheel. It's crazy looking. Too Faced Papa Don't Peach. That is a lip gloss. Okay, and that's somewhere else, so... Will I remember this? Probably not. Let's screenshot it. Okay, next. Lethal Nova. Oh, that's one of my favorite lip glosses. But it's also nude. Okay, we'll screenshot it and see if we want to do both of those. LYS OG. I think that's one of my new lip oils, so that that's gonna work. I haven't used that yet. And I, I'll be, I will show you all of these. I'm just spinning for now. So I'm not moving the camera all over. Shiseido Ruby Copper. That is, I believe, a red lipstick. Mm, I'm going to check what shade of red that is. If it's like a true red or an orangey red, I'm not going to do it. Tart Buttered Rum. Is that one of those maracuya things? I don't even remember. Oh, okay. How many was that? That was five. So let's do, let's do two more in case I don't want to do two lip, two like nude lip glosses. Rare Beauty Brave. I think that could work. That is one of those, actually I don't remember. <laughs> it could be a lipstick or one of those like lip stain things. Colourpop Last Petal. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. So let's go and try and find these things. So now I will put this stuff away and we'll move down to the bottom section. Okay, so here are my lip glosses. There could also be, yeah, there's lip oils in here too. I have three drawers. This one is like a mixture also of lip gloss, lip oil, some clicky stick ones. I have more lipsticks up here. Oh, I, can't, I can't actually take that out right now. <laughs> There's more in back of here. I have um, ColourPop and Drugstore and liquid lipsticks back there and mini 
I'll just stick with this one. Mini lipsticks in this container. I don't know why I'm missing two. Yeah, anyway, that's what that is. And then, of course, over here, I have more lip products. Lipsticks, lip oil, liquid lipsticks. And over here, these are my newer, um, mostly lip oils. This meant to be a lip oil drawer, but then I had other things I had to shove in there too. So, I think that's everything. Do I have? No, it's not. There's more. <laughs> There's drugstore lip products and ColourPop back there. Okay, but let's just go back to what we rolled. So the first one was Too Faced Papa Don't Peach. And that is a lip gloss. So it should be over here. Sorry, that was an extreme turn of the camera. So this is, oh, okay. This video is so hard to film. <laughs> okay, that's what's in this drawer. And it is not in here. Although I do have these Too Faced, but those are the High Shine Sparkling Lip Glosses. So it's not that. And I also have these lip glosses and it's not there. Oh, here it is. Too Faced. I'm just making sure this is the Papa Dome Peach because I have two of these. But the other one is a mini. Why? Okay. I think I lost the the sticker on the bottom. I'm pretty sure it's this. Let me just check my mini one. And at the same time, I can show you this drawer. Because, yes, there's more lip products in here. There. <laughs> This is my face palette drawer actually, but I do have this lip tray on top of like minis and random things. And where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, this one's pure peach, so it's not that. It's not my mini. That means it is this one, although it doesn't say Papa Dome Peach anywhere, but I'm pretty sure that's what that was called. And this is what? You would suspect a peachy nude. I love it. This used to be like my favorite lip gloss. And it still smells amazing of peaches. So I'm going to pull that one. And then... Ow. <laughs> I'm on the floor. So it's very, very uncomfortable. The other one we pulled, or I pulled, is Lethal Nova. Oh, that's going to be fun, trying to find where I put that. Lethal Nova. That is like a square shape. <laughs> so, it's not in there. That actually might be... Oh, is this it? Yep. It was actually in this container. But I am very familiar with this, so I knew exactly the shape. This is... The Nova, I forget what they called these. It's kind of like, I think it's called a lip gloss, but I always found it more to be a lip oil consistency. That's what that looks like. I'm just going to compare it. Okay, that's it next to Papa Don't Peach. So I think you can see the difference. This is more like a brownie nude. It's more peachy, of course. But you see how like oily that is? I just love this product. And I actually don't think they make these anymore because I remember I got this on clearance when I was buying the Teresa's Dead collab. I'm pretty sure I think that's what happened. <laughs> anyway, love this. So that's fun to pull back in. Um, what else do I have? LYSOG. I think that is over here. 
because I think it's one of these lip oils. Yep, it's this, this one, the OIS Speak Love Glossy Lip Treatment Oil in OG. I have never used this. I got it. I got both of these actually. They were in a set. Um, I had seen this at Sephora previously. I don't know if it's still there, but I got these ones from BoxyCharm and I can't open it. Oh my god. This won't open. I feel like I'm gonna break it. Oh, okay, I am an idiot. It was not a twist. It was a pull. <laughs> it's a pull. Oh my God. It's a triangle shape. I don't know <laughs> what I was thinking. So that's what that looks like. This is gonna be, yeah, barely any color. It is a lip oil, so that's what that is, but this will be fun to wear to the office because it'll just look like a lip balm. Can't believe I was trying to twist a triangle. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? Don't put that back. The Shiseido Ruby Copper. I think that's down here because I think it's this mini lipstick. Ruby Copper, yes. So it looks like this. Mm, this could be good. It's a more like a deep red. I think I will pull that in. I am going to a wedding this, yeah, this weekend. So maybe I'll wear red lip. I don't know what I'm wearing yet though. So that might not work. <laughs> um, then the Tarte Buttered Rum. I believe that is one of those Maracuya Juicy Lips because I had like a holiday set and that sounds holiday-ish. So that would not be down here because I keep those on the top where I was showing you the eyebrow pencils. So I'll just bring the camera with me. So that would be in here. Yep. Yeah. I think it's one of these. This is Holiday Spritz. Rose. <laughs> I don't know. Is it not one of these? Mary Martini. Okay. It's not one of those because that was a three pack. Do I have other? So there's more lip oils in here. Lip balm, Glowish Huda Beauty lip balm, Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm. Yeah, it's just random. Charlotte Tilbury Matte Beauty, Matte Beauty Blush Wand. But we're looking for Tarte. This is it. Yes, I found it. Actually, I think this is, yeah. This makeup is trying to trick me. This was, okay, because I have four of these, but one of them, and I think it's rose, or it's just rose actually. There's no accent on the E. This one is not from that kit, so that was trying to trick me. This was the holiday trio, so I was right. Buttered rum was in there, and that's the shade. So, okay, <laughs> we're moving back down here and that noise is the lens for my camera that is attached if you're wondering I don't know how much you heard of that um but let's do a swatch of this oh yeah that's pretty for the office too because it's very neutral Okay, these are all looking kind of similar <laughs> with the exception of this uh, Shiseido. I have trouble pronouncing that. Um, but that's fine because let's be realistic. I am wearing these shades more anyway. So this is a good group. Do I have more? Yes, I do. The Rare Beauty Brave. Where would that be? 
maybe back over here in the lip gloss area I see one here this but I don't think that's it no that's nearly apricot um, it's not there. It's not there. Oh, is it? No, that's Joy. I think it is one of these things though. It might be a mini. Yeah, these are like the the stain ones. The Nearly Apricot was like her first lip gloss launch, I think. I'm going to have to look for that, but let me just see if there's anything else. ColourPop Last Petal. I also don't know what that is. Oh, I think it's one of the... one of those that came out with the Valentine's Day collection. And I keep that back here. So, okay, let's try and do this <laughs> without causing a disaster. So, how, okay, I think I have to take this out first. So that was what I was pulling from, where I got the Nova gloss from. It was from this container. So, putting that aside. Then I have this, which is my more like bougie lipsticks and my Too Faced because they just fit there. And then behind here, behind here, and I hope, okay, if it's not here, at least you guys will see what I have. So this is powders, mostly minis, and I think it's in here. This is my ColourPop drawer, my Hocus Pocus um, lip creams. And I'm thinking it's one of these because of the name, Last Petal. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. Well, I thought it was one of those, these Fresh Kiss lip creams from that Valentine's Day collection they did, but it's not here. These are You Are Mine, Date Night, Smoochin', Oh Baby, Heaven, and Make Out. So it's not in there. This is my drugstore lip glosses and liquid lipsticks. I don't think it would be in here. No, also my Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. Do you remember those? Those were like all the rage when I first started watching YouTube. And the NYX Soft Cream, no, Soft Matte Lip Cream. And these are liquid lipsticks. So, yeah, it's not going to be in here. And this is cream highlighters and like potted kind of highlighter things. Okay, so we did not find what we were looking for. So let me just clean this up a little and I will try and find those lip products and I'll show them to you. And then we'll move on to other sections. Okay, I'm back and I should have known the last petal um, shade was from the Beauty and the Beast and Colourpop collab, of course. So it's from this lipstick and lip gloss duo, Break the Spell. But the last petal is the lipstick and I swatched it and it's beautiful for fall. I'll show you the lip gloss too, just so you know, but I'm not going to pull this in because I already pulled enough lip glosses especially like neutral nude ones but it's really pretty it's that one and i also found the rare beauty brave um it was in my one of my back drawers because i put it with my liquid lipsticks 
and I don't remember if it's because is this like a dry down liquid lipstick formula? I don't think so. It's oh my god, the writing is so small. It says matte lip cream. Okay, maybe because it said matte, that's why I put it with my other ones. But I'm pretty sure this is more like one of those moussey kind of ones that is more like a matte blur than like a dry down matte. But that's the shade. Another perfect shade for fall. So this is going well. So I'll be pulling that in as well. And I'll put this back. And it was right in front of my face too. In this container. Where I keep all my ColourPop stuff that I don't want to get rid of the boxes for. So I have like the... Ah, oh, that was probably the worst sound ever. Pokemon. Um, more Pokemon and more Beauty and the Beast. So that's what's in there. Okay, now, okay, before we move to the other side of the room, I figured I should pull a face palette because I'm not working on any at the moment. So let's go back in this drawer and move you back. But we don't need this tray anymore. So down here is my face palette drawer. You would have seen it um, in that video where I think it was called like Organize With Me Face Palettes or something. It was like a mini series that I did. Um, it's still pretty organized, but because I have to keep that lip tray in here, I do have to like stack them on top of each other, which I don't love. But let's roll for one of these because I don't really mind which one I pull, I honestly don't use a lot of these. <laughs> so whichever one I pull will be perfect. So let's go back to my Tiny Decisions app. The thing is I don't have a category for face palettes because these are actually not in my inventory as face palettes. They're like if there's blush in them, then the blush is in the blush category. If there's bronzer, then the bronzer is in the bronzer. You get, you get the picture. So maybe I can't roll for one of these. Or we'll be here forever. <laughs> so I think I'll pick one then. Um, okay, let's move this like that. But I just put this one back, the Sephora Pro. So it's not gonna be that one. Under that one, is this Melt, um, what was this called? Monarca blush palette. But I don't want like a palette that's just one thing. Like the goal is to have a mixture. So let's try and find one like that. This is the Ofra Benvenido Samiami Mini Mix Face Palette. This could work although I probably won't reach for this blush because I have other ones like that in my shot my stash even and because it's not really a fall um a fall what am I trying to say tone but this one is pretty 305 and then I have these two bronzers and two highlighters and I've never used this before so yeah let's do this although this is very summery, probably meant to be, but that's fine. So we're just going to do that and make it easy. Um, and if you do want to see like everything that's in here, I'll link the Organize With Me video below. Or else we'll be here for six hours. Okay, so now we're on the other like side of the room at my desk and this is my new makeup drawer. You've seen it before if you have seen my other videos. Um, it's looking pretty sparse right now because I don't know, I'm just keeping everything in my shop, my stash container mostly. But in here I have um, this lip balm that I just rolled in to my whole collection project, uh, Young Living Grapefruit Lip Balm. I have my bite, I always forget the name of this, and it's so small, um, line and define lip primer that I keep telling myself I'll use and I never do. Um, 
I don't know why I'm swatching it. It's a lip primer. So you're meant to wear this like under probably their lip products, like their sticks and everything. But I thought I would use this like when I wear like a more matte lip product. This would be nice as like a cushion. Um, but I keep forgetting to use it. So I don't know. We'll just keep it here <laughs> for now. I have my Dr. Jart Sika Pear. I haven't been using this lately because I am just loving my Belief SPF 50 moisturizer. And then I feel like, do I need to put this SPF 30 on top? This is the Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. I don't know. I guess like, yeah, when I do have a lot of redness, I would reach for this, but Lately, I just haven't been. I have this Never Ending Tarte Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. This is in my, um, well, it's a project. I don't even film, but it's in my head. It's uh, like uh, what I need to pan this year or probably get rid of. And this is one of them, but I never reach for a foundation and I still have all of that, so. It still smells good. Uh, well, I mean, it smells like it's supposed to, so that's okay. This I try and use every time I do my makeup. It's the Tatcha the Pearl. It's a basically an eye cream, but it's tinted. I don't feel like it actually really... It, let, it doesn't like replace a concealer, but I just like that it's skincare, basically. So I'm trying to use that. I just keep this in here, this Young Living Rose Ointment. It's actually pretty well used, but I, it doesn't need to be in here, but I figured I have the room, so we'll just keep it there. You can't even really see back there, but um, this is a Physician's Formula sharpener that I use sometimes, mostly for lip liners, but it does have like the jumbo pencil sharpener thing. This I just put in here today because if you saw my empties video, I had to get rid of my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I mean, it was like probably five years old, <laughs> if not more, and it just went off on me. So I had this one in my stash that was, it still even had like the plastic on it, so it's never been used. But this is the Beauty Crop Stuck On You Base Eye Primer, enriched with coconut and pomegranate seed oil, but it is tinted. So I'm wondering if I'm gonna like it. It's a, oh, and it, it just broke actually. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Oh no. What? What's happened? Oh no. I can't use this either. But didn't I just, okay, I'm so confused. I thought I tested this, but I guess I'm thinking of something else. This is not usable. That's total. see, this is what happened with the Urban Decay one. Oh my God, I can't use that because first of all, it's broken. And because it's so dry, this keeps, like the cap keeps coming off. Well, that's disappointing. It was brand new. Yeah, I can't even like squeeze that out. Okay, so good thing I'm doing this video. That's an empty. Oh yeah, that is totally dried up in there. I don't know. This was sealed in plastic, so I'm very confused. I mean, it's probably pretty old. Well, I can't use that. And I don't. I don't think I have another eye primer though. Actually, so yesterday was the first of the month so I had to choose my Ipsy things and this is probably this is probably gonna be the last month that I'm doing Ipsy but uh, one of the items is an eye primer <laughs> so now I need that. But yeah, okay. I'm just thinking next time I do my eyeshadow Maybe by then I'll already have my Ipsy, so it won't matter. Um, but I do have this, the NYX Glitter Primer. But really I use this for 
glittery eyeshadows. Let's check if this is still good. Yeah. I don't know why I'm swatching eye primers, but I still have that one. If anything, I can use this in the meantime. This is the mascara I'm using right now. My first impression on this was totally off. I think like, like there wasn't enough product on the wand and I thought I really liked it, but now I realize I don't. Um, it's, I don't know what the name is. It just says black mascara. But first of all, I don't love these kind of wands. Like the Too Faced, Better Than Sex, these like hourglass shapes. They don't really work for me. I find them just messy. And I don't feel like this does much for me because I need a lengthening mascara. And this I think is for volume. Although I thought it was for lengthening when I first tried it, but I realized, yeah, it just cause the wand was like dried up. I also have this Clinique, uh, not Clinique, Lancome Waterproof Monsieur Big. So keeping that in case I need a waterproof mascara. I always keep this in here, L'Oreal Voluminous Base, but I never feel the need to use it. Maybe I will pass this on. Because I never reach for it and it's just getting old. But then what if I want a primer? <laughs> okay, my e.l.f. Uh, makeup remover pen. It's probably dried out, to be honest. I don't know, is this like refillable. I don't think that's doing anything. Yeah, that's dry. So that's an empty. <laughs> okay. This is how often I go through this drawer. And my Tarte Fake Awake just lives in here. Although I haven't used it lately because I'm not doing many eye looks, but it's just a nude liner that I put on my uh, waterline and that still seems fine. So we're gonna keep that in there. Uh, this is the powder I rolled into my whole collection project. The cat, sorry, KVD Locket Setting Powder, translucent. These are the two brow products you just saw me pull, the Winky Lux and the Patrick Ta Brow Wax, Shaping Wax. And this is the one I said I'm just gonna keep the Kosas I mean, I'm just gonna keep in rotation the air brow because it, it's a color, it's like the Benefit Gimme Brow basically, but Kosas in like which step you're supposed to use it in. And then I just have some random like tools, my Odin's Eye Mirror, Sephora makeup tape that I never use, my color switch, which I do use because I don't wash my brushes probably as often as I'm supposed to. And my sponges and my Beauty Blender Power Puff. And yeah, that's what this drawer is. It's pretty sparse, but I don't know. Maybe I will move some things to hear it from my shop, my stash, like primers, like things I'm gonna reach for every time I do my makeup. We'll see. Um, over here is my, so this is the drawer that was right next to my everyday makeup drawer, but I have to stand up now <laughs> to show you this one. This is all my primers, foundation, skin tint, and concealer. Um, I already have, so the Makeup Forever Water Blend and the two skin tints. So I'm not gonna pull anything from here, but I thought, I don't know, I should show it to you anyway. I did do an organizing video on this too. And it's, I mean, it's just a lot of things in one drawer. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. And then in this drawer, which, oh my gosh. Okay, don't look at my garbage. I have to clean this whole room. This is mini palettes and lashes in the back that we've decided I'm not well, I've decided <laughs> I'm not pulling and shop my stash anymore. I do have, okay, one, two, three. I have three slots open for eyeshadows. 
but I think I'm going to roll for them because you guys know I can't decide what to use but I did want to show you these are the mini palettes and then down here oh my god yeah this is a disaster those are full size palettes and that used to be in order <laughs> But now everything is stacked on top of each other again. Although I do have to say it is organized mostly by brand. So I know like if I need my uh, Odin's Eye, it's going to be here. My Huda, Pamagrath, all that stuff. But that's just one of the drawers. So over here, let's see if I can... This is my highlighter drawer. But I am working on too many highlighters right now. I have two cream highlighter. Wait, do I? I have... Wait, what's happening now? Yes, I have all my highlighters still in my whole collection project. So that means I have two creams and two powders. So we definitely don't need more highlighter. But this is what I have. These are all powder highlighters. I showed you the creams in the other drawer. I do have some creams in here because they're minis so they fit in these little squares. But yeah, I have ColourPop, Harry Potter, um, Physician's Formula, Shimmer, Strips, Michaela Glam Light, more ColourPop, that's the Winnie the Pooh ones, some Drugstore, um, Wet n Wild, Elf, you get the gist. Back here is the more expensive ones I guess Charlotte Tilbury um Clinique this like fancy one with the embossing Mac yeah I, house labs I just don't like I said I don't need to pull some highlighters right now um this one this is my new makeup drawer and yeah that's what that's looking like so normally i do pull from here and that's not even all this is the bag from the haul that i haven't put away yet um but there's eyeshadow palettes in here a lot of things like these are things they're new as in like still in the box and also, I might want to do a video on them. That's why I keep them in here. And then once it's like past a long time and I didn't do the video yet, then I'll just put them in with my regular stuff. But for now, it's looking like this. I think this is just, yeah, that's, what is this? Formula Z, Transforming Beauty, Happy Stick Duo Lip Liner Squad, and Artistry Sharpener. I got this in an Ipsy. That's taking up a lot of room. So that's something like I might consider <laughs> just getting rid of the box. And this is Wander Beauty Wanderlust Powder Foundation in the shade Light. Okay. That should probably not be there because I forgot it was in there. These are my cosmic Wait, what is this called again? Cosmic Brushes, right? My Cosmic Brushes palettes, I haven't used them yet. And I did, one of you did want to see these and I'm really sorry, I never got around to it. It's just, I haven't pulled these in a project and I really want to do a video like with all three. And at this point, honestly, I don't even know, are these still available right now? <laughs> yeah. I'll have to, anyway, I will be rolling for palettes, so maybe we'll see those again. And back there is um, foundations type stuff and more eyeshadow palettes and face palettes and my mascara cup. And then, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but down here are... So those, this is my other palette drawer. This one is a bit less crazy. Um, 
because it's the brands like I have less of. So, well, aside from ColourPop, <laughs> that's why the ColourPop stuff is stacked on top. But underneath, I know where mostly everything is. Urban Decay, Tarte, um, yeah, just like one-offs back there. So, that's what that is. So let's roll for some eyeshadow. Oops, I'm falling. Don't look at my floor, it's filthy. <laughs> okay, this is actually eyeshadow palette slash eyeshadow single. So it's possible I'll roll a single, but let's see what we get. Okay, that's boring. <laughs> Winky Lux Kitten Palette. That was just in a project. I think it was in my chopping block and I kept it. I don't want to roll that in. It's not fall anyway. Like it's not fall tones. Lethal Teresa's Lethal? I've never used that. That could be really fun. Okay. Let's screenshot it. And let's do it two more. Violet Boss, All of You Forever. That's in my chopping block, so no. Oh my god, that's perfect. Nomad Hudson Valley. It is a fall, like it's literally made for fall. So perfect. That is very exciting. I actually want to go to the Hudson Valley this fall. I think that I'll make Josh <laughs> do that with me. Tarte, Tartlet Starlight. Oh, I think that's, yes, that is one of those palettes that came in last year's holiday set and I haven't used it, so that's good. Okay, so let me get those out. I don't know if I can, like, how am I going to film these drawers? I don't think I can because it'll just be me moving the camera around everywhere and you'll be getting dizzy. So, okay. I'm looking for Lease Lethal Cosmetics, Teresa's Lethal. Nomad Hudson Valley and Tartlet Starlight. I actually think those are all in this drawer though. So let me see if I can move us down. Okay, I moved you down and I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. <laughs> so I was looking for the Tarte um, Starlight, but I realized I think that's a mini palette and I don't know if it's gonna be in here. I don't think so. But I found the Teresa's Lethal and this is great because we have some like deeper fall tones and then some really fun shimmer shades so I am excited to finally use this I don't think yeah I'm pretty sure you can't get that anymore but I need to use what I have um Nomad Hudson Valley is no that's Oh, I want to show you this because did you guys see that um, Nomad is coming back out with this, the Haunted Europe. So this was discontinued and everybody was like, why would you discontinue that? It's like your best palette. So they are bringing this one back. So that's very exciting. But where's my Hudson Valley? Oh, is this? No. I hope you can still see. Um, isn't that like an orange? I keep thinking it's this, but that's Sunkissed Glow from LA Girl. Is this it? No. Oh, I think it's, it was hiding. Yeah, this is not the best way to store your eyeshadow palettes, but it's this one. Look how perfect. Beautiful. I'm so excited. Have I used this already? I might have used this in a video like once. So I need to use this. 
this time of year especially. So we're still looking for that Tarte palette. I guess, I guess that's in my mini palette. Yeah. So it's this one here. Tartlet Starlight. So it came with um, these also, Maracuya Juicy and the Tartlet Mini. I thought there was four. Oh, because the other one was a face palette. Yeah, so it's in my face palette drawer. Ooh, this is perfect. That's what that looks like. This is very exciting. I'm liking what I pulled. So that's good for eyeshadow. I mean, I'm already at my max on highlighters and blushes. I have plenty of eyeshadow. I have a face palette. I have two bronzers, two concealers. I think, I think I'm good. <laughs> so I'll just um, tidy up my Shop My Stash container and then I'll show you again what's in it. Well, now that we have everything. Okay, so this is what my Shop My Stash is looking like now. Um, yeah, you guys already saw I put my Denise Myricks, well, that was already there because it's from my whole collection project. But I put the Ofra um, face palette behind there. I still have my Pat McGrath Eternal Eden Quad to use. My Animal Crossing blush, my ColourPop blush, those are in the project. Uh, Cover FX Shimmer Veil, that should probably be somewhere else with the, with, yeah, I'm gonna put it here so it's with eye stuff uh, because then I have two cream blushes again and I put my cargo bronzer that I just rolled in. Then in this area behind the lip products are my highlighters. So these are all the same from the beginning. I have six new lip products to play with, my LYS, Lip Oil, The Rare Beauty, Brave, Too Faced, Papa Don't Peach, Nova from Lethal Cosmetics, Last Petal, Lux Lipstick, and Shiseido Ruby Copper. Uh, I put my Wet n Wild Cushion Contour here because I'm probably going to be using this the most like when I go to the office and stuff because it's just easy. Makeup Forever Water Blend, my Revlon Skin Tint, Elf Camo Hydrating CC Cream, my two concealers that I'm working on. Can you see that? Um, and then everything back there is the same except I added the Tarte Maracuya Juicy Lip in Buttered Rum. Um, yeah, so that's everything. I feel like it's a little sparse and so is my, my new makeup drawer as you saw. Oh, and the eyeshadow palettes. So I added them in my palette organizer. The Tarte one here, um, the Nomad Hudson Valley, and the Lethal, Teresa's Lethal. So that's fine. Yeah, but this is still a lot of stuff to be working on, especially since I have like four highlighters, four blushes, <laughs> you know? So yeah, it's gonna be fun though to have like a little refresh and some more fall tones to play with. So I hope you guys liked this video. Um, if you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.